to sync our new to do's with the client, what we need to do is to bring with Apollo. And let's change that to the public list with the underscore. and define our to-do public list as with Apollo to the public list and use it here. Now what we will do, we'll get props, we will set our client from props now our older to dos available here will be will be basically an indicator showing the new task has arrived here and the count so what we will need we will need to bring our latest to do check uh, basically to check our latest to do if it exists new to do count initial one is 0 Let's just remove all those to-dos. We won't need them anymore. Let's, let's set our error as false. Here we'll define our oldest to-do ID as props latest to-do ID plus one. That's the oldest one. The new one is newest to do ID, we'll get it from props. You will see in a bit why we are doing so. Let's populate our state on component did mount. We'll call load older. Now it's time to implement load older function. Basically, what we want to to bring here is to get all public studios starting from the oldest one to the newest one. So let's write our query here. Uh, so first of all, let's just query our to dos where is public equal to true and order by created that descending let's return ids so let's assume this is the older to do and all these are new ones so what do we uh, we need to do we need to query let's call it get old public to do's and we'll have a variable called oldest to do id Type integer will bring all to dos when is public is equal to true, and also we want to check our ID that is lower than our oldest to do ID. Right? Also, one, we want to limit everything by seven rows. So we will return ID, title, created ad, and we need to present which user created this. Now, let's provide all this to do ID as let's say 2a2. Run that, we will get all the oldest to do. Right? This is for loading all to do's in the list. Let's grab that and bring to our client. Let's call it get old 
public to do's. Now what we need to do is to query. We will query. And we will pass variables with our oldest to do ID. So whenever we get the data, we will check if our data to do is length. We have to do it all. We we'll set all this to do ID. To be the last one that we brought. Minus one. And we'll set state. With our to do's. by adding our uh, state to do's and data. Otherwise, we will set our state with older to do's available as false. So let's me recap. Whenever we have new to do's, because get all the public to do's will bring us the ones that are lower than the oldest one, whenever we have a new to-dos, we will set this to-dos in the state. Otherwise, we'll just show this flag, older to-dos available as false. Also, we want to get some basic error handling. And whenever, let's just log this error and set state. to error, true, whenever we have some, some kind of error. Let's also add older by here, by create at add descending. As you can see, whenever I hit uh, edit a new to do, it was not added, but it's presented here in UI. So let's implement that functionality. And let's handle this, uh, this in component did update. In order to check if we have a new to do, Remember the, the subscription we created as a notifier? So basically our latest to do ID will change. And what we need to do, we need to ch uh, check latest to do ID. If it's greater than newest to do ID. And if, if it is, we say newest to do ID equal this props latest to do ID. And we'll set our state with new to discount. So what will happen? Let's reload this up. As you can see, I have a notifier here, new task has arrived, but I don't see it's added. That's the expected functionality, that's what we want to achieve. Now what we want to do is whenever clicking on new task has arrived, our public feed will load new to do's. In order to do so, we need to implement load new function. So first of all, let's go to graphical and let's create our query. Query will be get new public to do's and we'll have latest 
visible ID variable. Inside, we will get to do's and we will check if it's public. In addition to that, we will check that ID this time is greater than latest visible ID. We also want to order this by create a date in descending manner. Now we will return ID title created at user with the name. So now what we need is provide this latest visible ID as let's say 286. Run that and we will see a bunch of new to-dos rendered here. So far, this query seems to work. What we need to do now is defined here. Let's call it get new public to do's. Let's copy paste our query inside. Now what we need to do is call client query, pass our query with get new public to do's and a bunch of variables, actually one variable, latest visible ID, and it will be basically the latest to do that was rendered from the state. So whenever we render that, we'll get, uh, whenever we execute that, we get the data We set our new to do's ID as a new one. And we also set our state with new to do's. We also need to set new to do's count as zero. Let's add basic error handling. Just console log error. And set our error state true. Let's test that. New test. I see new test has arrived. Whenever I click on that, new test is loaded. I see my online users here. I can toggle my to-dos, can delete them. New private to-do is added. My filters are working properly and clear completed working. So basically I implemented the whole app and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed.